Hi guys, Nada here and today I'm going to talk about and see which of the X570 motherboards is the quietest. Now, as you already know, pretty much all X570 motherboards for the newest AMD Zen 2 CPUs have an active fan on it and fans make noise. So I wanted to see is there any differences between brands and how they actually handle it. So here we have the Astrock Tai Chi motherboard from Asus ROG, we have the Crosshair 8 Hero, also from Asus we have a Prime Pro, from MSI we have the Meg Ace and here we have the Aura Stack. So we have a Master Pro and the only ITX motherboard you can currently get which is the Pro ITX. Just for giggles, I put the Aura's Extreme here as well because of all the motherboards currently out. This is the only motherboard that doesn't have a fan and this is a noise video so ultimately this motherboard wins. But because I know that most of you don't have 700 euros to spend on a motherboard, let's just see how the other ones do. Let's go. This video is brought to you by the Cooler Master Masterbox NR400, a quality micro ATX case that offers great performance and a sleek design at a very decent price. Get yours using the links in the description below. Now it's clear that there are some differences in design of the fan itself. Now although most brands decided to mostly hide theirs behind some fancy accessory. It is worth pointing out that MSI is the only brand to put any marketing effort into their chipset fan, claiming better performance and a longer lifespan than the competition, but of course I cannot verify that yet. Now what is interesting is that there are big differences in BIOS when it comes to the chipset fan. Gigabyte and MSI offer the most extensive options, letting you pick or change your fan curve and both now offer a semi-passive mode, meaning the fan will stop spinning completely until it's needed. Astro comes with some different profiles and lets you customize it as well, but there is no way to stop the fan. Now Asus simply has no fan control over the chipset fan, which is odd since they've got the most options and tweaks available in the BIOS for everything else. Now maybe that's something we are yet to see. Okay, so to look at noise we actually need to look at temperatures and for that I had to stress the chipset somehow. So I ran the PCIe Express bandwidth test with the uh, RX 5700 XT while simultaneously running and stressing the Aorus NVMe Gen 4 SSD. Now in this test all these motherboards actually did well uh, while having the chipset around 50 to 55 degrees depending on the motherboard with only the ITX motherboard reaching the 59 degree point which is logical, it's smaller, it has a smaller fan, it has smaller heat sinks. Now, funny thing is that between these motherboards in idle and stress there is only a couple of degrees difference which means that we still don't have hardware that is going to stress the chipset to its limits and I cannot wait to see what's going to happen when there is more hardware using the PCIe Gen 4 especially GPUs but for that I think we'll have to wait a bit longer. Okay so knowing that the cooling of all these boards was fine and comparable let's look at the noise production. In idle, it is clear that Gigabyte and MSI have a big advantage with their fan stop feature, meaning that we cannot measure any noise. Both Asus boards are clearly a bit quieter than the Astro Tai Chi, but I have to point out that 39 decibels at a mere 10 centimeters isn't that much. Now let's look at the results under load. Because the difference in these motherboards between running idle and being under load is so small, and some motherboards having a fan stop feature, to account for a worst case scenario, I set the chipset fans to their default profiles so they are always on. Here we see Amazon and Astrox spin up to just about audible levels from a normal distance and Gigabyte actually going from being the quietest to just about louder than the rest and Asus actually becoming noticeably the quietest. It is also worth noting there are clear similarities in fan behavior between the different boards of Gigabyte and Asus for example which makes sense as the handling and BIOS is probably shared across the entire lineup. It's worth pointing out that due to the fan store feature of the MSI and Gigabyte and the small temperature difference between idle and load, the MSI and Gigabyte boards can be completely silent too, depending on what case you use of course. So let's draw some conclusions from this. Now even though the Asus motherboards are clearly the quietest under heavy loads, I have to say the fact that you can uh, turn off the fan on the MSI and the Aorus motherboards is great because they stay completely quiet in idle and that's where it matters the most because if you put your system under load while gaming or rendering, the CPU cooler and the graphics card are almost always going to be louder than your motherboard so it won't matter anyways. 
In theory, constant airflow is good for temperatures, but the thing is, there is such a small difference between idle and load here so far. So actually picking a board that has a fan stop feature is better in the long run because there is such a thing as a fan degradation. And I really do hope that the other brands like Asus and Astrock are gonna implement a fan stop feature in their bias in the future because it's, it's actually not that hard. MSI had it from the start, but the Aorus motherboards actually just implemented that option. So the bottom line is that all these motherboards are handling the chipsets really well and staying quiet enough so you're not gonna hear them in real life scenarios, which is important. So noise production shouldn't be the reason of choosing a motherboard, but I have to say the fan stop feature is a strong argument of picking one motherboard over the other. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind, these are the first eight motherboards that we, we got when uh, AMD Zen 2 CPUs came out and since then we actually got 12 more, so we have 20 X570 motherboards. If you want me to do an update video with the rest of the motherboards, please let me know in the comments down below because if you don't, I'm not gonna bother because it takes too damn long to do these tests. So, uh, if you like this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up on this video and yeah, see you in the next one, bye!